you know, this property was on a creek bed and there was this little pocket of bamboo Mm -hmm. that was like five foot by five foot. It was Mm -hmm. just this invasive bamboo pocket. Mm -hmm. And there were a few big mature trees that were growing out of it. Yep. And Mm -hmm. there every year, one of the bigger bucks in the area was bedding in that little spot. Yeah, there were rubs all in there. Yep, mm-hmm. and you never would have known that that was a awesome bedding area because there was just this little vegetative pocket mm-hmm. that you couldn't have seen any other way. But and and that that buck would come through from the front yard when, yep. while it was still dark in the morning. Would come through in the front yard on the like between a fence and the house, and they were that was close. I mean, that house it had to have been. I mean, no more than 15 yards off of that fence. Oh, yeah. And it was so, it was such a narrow pinch, you would have never thought that deer would just walk through there. Well, he was going right to that little tiny, tiny patch of bamboo. And remember, we would have never known he was bedding there until we, we were, look, we're like, is, are there rubs on yeah. that bamboo in yeah. there? We looked in there, we're like, holy shit, there's a bed there. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, that was actually awesome. That, that deer's uh, looking at yeah, us right I know. now. I know. But yeah, he, uh, you were the one that was like, dude, you need to go hunt this property yeah, cause now. Yeah. I set up and I was playing. Yeah, I was playing like a game on my phone. It's a rut, right? And I'm like screwing around, (laughs) playing. And I see this buck. He came from that bamboo and cut through the hole in the fence. And I was going out of state to hunt for a couple days. And I was leaving that day. And I called you. I'm like, dude, you need to go hunt. That deer's a big deer. And you were like, yeah, I think I'm going to go. This was on like a Friday. You're like, I think maybe I'll go there on Monday. I'm like, no, tomorrow (laughs) morning, please go there. And I I was on the stand out of state, and you texted me. You're like, I just smashed him. Yeah, like Mm 815. That was awesome. (laughs) That deer deer died in the neighbor's yard. Mm -hmm. And I... So that deer came in. I grunted. He came in behind me across the creek. I grunted a couple times, and he was following some does, and he just walked out of sight. And I was like, damn it. Mm-hmm. And then about 15 minutes later, I see movement out of the corner of my eye, and here he is coming back to where I grunted. And I hammered him. I mean, pinwheel 12 ring him. And he ran about 30 yards and looked back and then just reared up on his hind legs and flopped over dead backwards and i was like oh and like <laughs> on one hand i'm like this is awesome on another hand i'm like oh my god because he's just dead in that guy's backyard i know and it was wide open wide open and so i got down and um i changed into my street clothes because i always keep street clothes in my car and i went over to that neighbor's house who i didn't know at the time and this mm-hmm. is a very like small neighborhood very tiny. very small i mean 50 yards max between houses yes i mean quarter acre mm-hmm. lots and um I rang the doorbell and this guy comes out. I'll never forget this. He's like chewing his breakfast. <laughs> and he's like, what's up? <laughs> I was like, hey, sir, how you doing? Um, I I harvest, I, what did I say? I said, I'm I'm helping your neighbors with the, the deer problem. Mm-hmm. I harvested one this morning and he expired in your backyard. And the guy looked at me and was like, well, cool. Let's go. Let's go grab him. And I'm like, thank God, right? And so we walk out in this guy's backyard, and it looked like, like I had the foam cannon at Senior Frogs in Cancun mm-hmm. filled with blood. Yeah, and it was everywhere because mm-hmm. I just I heart shot this mm-hmm. deer, and uh, the guy is walking through the blood in these little like moccasin slippers. <laughs> does not care. His house shoes didn't yeah. care. And he grabs this buck and rips his head up, and he goes. Hey, somebody take my picture with this hog. Because <laughs> I was hunting with Eric. And, and, uh, and we're like, oh, yeah, cool, man. <laughs> we like, took a couple pictures with the guy. And uh, that guy is awesome. I actually, he we hunt his property also now. But um, I, that could have gone poorly. It could have. And, you know, that that's a prime example of a property that we picked very specifically because of its pinch points. Yes. There's no bedding. 